Hi there, Canadian certified podorthist here, Carrie Fleming, owner of Health Walks Foot Care Clinic in New Glasgow and Toronto, Nova Scotia. Today we're talking specifically about heel pain, specifically the pain that you get when you get up from rest. So not the pain that you're walking more on your feet and as the day goes on, the more painful the heel gets. This is specific heel pain that starts in one foot, can go to two if you leave it long enough. Now, if you've been diagnosed with a heel spur, means the doctor has said, well, you might have a heel spur or you've had a rex ray and the heel spur has been confirmed, I want you to understand exactly what that is. Because, fear not, 80% of us do have a heel spur on x-ray and most of us don't have any symptoms with it. The heel spur actually isn't the cause of the pain, it's the inflammation that's going on around the heel spur. So let's, let's break this down. Okay, here is a right foot. And you can see this is the heel bone. It's actually quite big. And this example has a little wee heel spur. See how it's growing this way? It's actually not a spike that you're standing on. People hear that and that's what it sounds like, but it's not. So how does a heel spur start? And what exactly is causing your pain? Well, if you were to pull the skin off the bottom of your feet, you would see, and I've got a blue elastic here, but it would be white and it would look almost like violin strings and it attaches right there at the heel bone and it comes out and fans into this thick white structure that looks like violin strings to the knuckles of your feet. Okay, so it's almost like it has fingers. And when we sit or we sleep, we're under the covers and our feet relax and you can see how that band actually shortens. When we're the stiffest in the morning, we get up and we do this quick <laughs> stretch. And what that does is it pulls here where that fascia attaches to the bones and it pulls and it might tear a few fibers. Those fibers bleed, blood then calcifies, turns into bone. The bone is heading this way to try to minimize the stretch on the fascia. It's actually trying to help. It's not what's causing your pain. The inflammation, that quick stretch, the ripping of the fibers, that's what's causing your pain. And that's why you should read the blog book in to see us and you can figure out how to get rid of this pain. It's the most common pain we see on a daily basis here at our clinic. 24 years we've been open and so we know what we're talking about and you are in the right place.